Hello everyone. So today we will talk about Turbonomic and initially it was known as Vinium Turbo and I will tell you how you can download, how you can set it up. So this in this video I will tell you step by step about that. Okay. So before I talk about that how you can download it, it's, you need to go to this Turbonomic.com and you can download, you can sign up there and you, the appliance uh, which is a Turbonomic which is going to manage your whole VM virtualization environment. Here we will use it for VMware. And this is a proactive uh, sort of solution which, which works in your environment and it will try to put your virtual machines into a desired state where it doesn't um, look for more um, more physical machines and it, it will do a placement of your virtual machine to a specific physical machine where it can really go to a desired state which you have already set up. So it is proactive, uh, practice a bit of work and instead of and the uh, nowadays what we do is if we talk about HA and DRS which is there inbuilt into the, into the VMware technology which work as a reactive method okay but this tool is going to help you as proactive so what you need to do is you need to uh, go to this uh, turbonomic.com uh, then you can go to product and you can hit the download button here okay so if you download it they will, they will tell you okay you can download this and you can you need to fill these details and once you fill this you can download it okay so I've already filled it so you will get a 30 days of trial of this particular application so it is basically an appliance which you need to download so I'll show you once you hit this you will get an email from Turbonomic like this and they will give you the detail like um, the initial um, initial login credential will be like administrator and the password is VM Turbo and um, you can also do a root login and that also have a password with VM Turbo okay so um, I will show you up this basically uh, appliance let me open that file here okay so now you can see this is uh, this is the Turbonomic uh, which is the Turbonomic whole appliance it is in open virtualization file system which which you can say like OVF so we'll use it in our environment okay so what you need to do is uh, in our case what we'll do is we'll use VMware workstation to do it so I will launch my VMware workstation okay. so you can see I've already uh, set it up this particular machine but to show you up I will import the machine again and what you need to do is use this open virtual machine uh, tab I will maximize this and I will use open virtual machine tab and you can see you need to navigate to the location and this is the file I will open it so now you need to give a name like it is a turbonomic turbonomic machine and let's make the T capital here okay. Also, I would like to place it in a proper location, which is my lab directory. Okay, so it says Tabonomic and okay, I will say import. So it will take a while and it will import and you accept this and it is going to import now. Okay, so now you can see this machine is imported but you have seen that this has a 16 GB of memory which has already been set up which is a default configuration and a standard which uh, Turbonomics um, really recommend. Okay, so what we do is uh, I have 16 GB installed but I don't want to give all 16 GB here. So I will tweak this and I will try to make it 4096 and I will click OK. So it will be having 4 GB. So now we need to check that okay we have set it up 4 GB. Does it going to boot? Does it going to work? So I would say it should work. So let me just have a look. So I will do a power on here. So you can see if this is a CentOS Linux. I will hit enter. So this is a preloaded OS which has the Turbonomic configured on it. So we are just booting it up and once it is booted we are ready to log in. 
and do the rest of the configurations. But I would like to recommend you in case uh, you are trying to use it in the production environment, do not try to reduce the RAM and just go with 16 GB, but it's been recommended by, um, uh, by Turbonomic. Okay. So now you can see I'm already uh, there. Um, the machine is booted and it has an IP address which is 192.168.150.157. So how I will log in, uh, there is an email I've already shown you. Let me show you again. If we go here, and um, this is the email which has uh, the IP address, uh, sorry, it has the password which says VM Turbo. Okay, so if I go here and try to log in, root. Okay, so now you can see we have logged in, that is fine. And what we can do is, what I will do is, I will try to log in with the browser as well. So I will open the browser, uh, go here and type it out HTTPS 192.168 and the last IP address is 157. So I need to go to advance and proceed. Okay, so now you can see we have there in the login screen. Okay, so first thing I need to log in. So I need to go to this location and you can see the login ID, uh, username is administrator and the password is VM Turbo. Okay, so what I can do is I can put the user ID here. Okay, and I will hit login. So now you can see it says uh, for the first time you need to change your password. So I, will, I would like to change my password. And I will confirm. Okay. So now you can see I have logged in and this is the initial setup where we need to put the license and install all the things. Okay. So what I need to do is I will click next here. And uh, we have a license which is 30 days trial. I will use this and I will click next. Okay, so it says uh, just copy paste the text string contained in the license.xml uh, XML file which we have received. Okay, so in the email, if you go down, there is attachment. Okay, so what we need to do is I will open this particular file and I will copy the whole statement here. I will do a Let me try to open it here. Basically, what we need to do is we need to just copy this whole string. Okay. So I will copy this and I will go here and I will paste it here. Okay. And I will hit save. Okay. The license validation succeed. Proceed for the next configuration. Okay, I've booted. So now, if we can go next, and you can see this console. I need to add. So ultimately, what I believe is, if you select the hyper version, then you will see that we have option of adding vCenter. So what I need to do is, I need to set up a vCenter, and then we can uh, use this particular tool more and see how it works. Okay. So um, this is the first video, and in the next video, what I will do is, I will set up a vCenter and show you up how we can set up vCenter in um, the latest version which we have using here which is our ESX 6.5.0 so we'll install the latest um, uh, latest uh, vCenter and then we will configure this Turbonomic as well so just let me know in the comments if you have a specific question or specific uh, any query which you have so I will see you in the next video when I will set up a vCenter, I will add my this particular ESX and then we will um, add that particular vCenter into this particular uh, Turbonomic and we will see how it works. So hope this particular video is informative. Now you know how you can at least set up your um, own Turbonomic appliance and if you have less memory for the lab, you can still use this um, with just tweaking it out and changing the configuration 
and that's it it will work for you so thank you very much for watching this video just do the like uh, if you like it just hit the like button and if you want to subscribe please subscribe our channel and i would really um when uh, looking forward to it so thank you very much this is joy banerjee signing off from aik support